All right, guys. How y'all doing this evening? How y'all living? How's everybody's day going? We got happy birthdays going out to Northwest today. She's three years old. And, you know, she's trending. She's a star. And her mom don't want her getting no older. And also, happy birthday. Shout out to my mother. She's turned 29 again and again and again. <laughs> but into the meat and potatoes of this motherfucking dirt alert. Tommy Lee from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta has been banned. I guess they are doing the taping on the 20th. Um, I think it's Monday. And she's on social media saying that she's been banned and they're not they're not going to allow her to uh, come to the reunion. Tommy Lee, what what what's your problem? What what you done done now, girl? What your problem is, Tommy Lee? We already know you bat shit crazy. We know you don't mind fighting. We know you will climb up on the table and beat a bitch down. We know you don't give a fuck, okay? But uh, I guess Miss, it, it probably has something to do with Miss Jocelyn. Because yesterday on the gram, uh, on Jocelyn's social media, she's been showing that she went and had a lie detector test taken. So we know the reunion is coming soon. And uh, she wants y'all to know she spent her $600 to take the test, and she passed. Okay, undoubtedly, she's saying, allegedly, Stevie J is, uh, he'll fuck anything and everybody. A pansexual. I'm not familiar with the term, so I don't want to speak on it, but undoubtedly, Jocelyn allegedly is saying that Stevie J will fuck anything and anybody. He don't give a fuck. Just as long as when he freak, freaky, you get freak back with his motherfucking ass, okay? So she's showing everybody she passed, which who gives a fuck, Jocelyn? Because all you've been doing is acting a goddamn fool all motherfucking season. So if you so bad, Puerto Rican princess, why you done had old Tommy Lee banned? You scared Tommy Lee going to beat that ass, huh? Dirt motherfucking alert. Do we need to have our own motherfucking reunion for love and hip hop so we can see these two hoes go at it? Because I, you know what? Jocelyn, I think Tommy Lee, I'll give you a run for your motherfucking money. I think Tommy Lee might just beat that ass, okay? <laughs> but uh, y'all, all jokes aside, Tommy Lee is posting that she cannot attend. She's been banned from the Love and Hip Hop ATL reunion. And y'all know that bitch is good for TV if she ain't good for nothing else. And she said she just wanted to get an acting career. So, you know, maybe she was putting on for the camera. We found out this shit wasn't fake, you know. Uh, spoiler alert. Somebody has said that they found out that the girl that they're bringing on there for the DNA test, uh, whoever be right, whoever this woman is, that the baby ended up not being Stevie J's, you know. I guess uh, Mimi made a mistake and released that motherfucking information. All these motherfuckers need a gag. Order while the shit is being taped because all these motherfuckers is just spilling too much tea. So, anyway, I don't know how true this is. Uh, we seen Scrap, a uh, daughter, Imani, on motherfucking social media showing his new house. Well, undoubtedly, in the Georgia courts, Baller Lake showed that uh, Georgia had the right to go through with their eviction. I guess the uh, mini mansion he was living in, he got evicted from. And you know what? It must be true. Because why are you on camera showing pictures of your new pad? You know, why do we need to see your new house, Scrappy? So you know what? Something in the water ain't clean. You told on your goddamn self on that one. Who gives a fuck? You know, some of this shit y'all need to keep to your goddamn self. But if you put it out there, us vloggers, we gonna get it. We gonna holler at you. Lil Wayne is doing better. I guess he's up and about. And he said the show is on for Saturday in Kansas. And uh, allegedly, they said TMZ said he had um, too much scissor, too much lean. <laughs> I don't know how they know unless they was there drinking the shit with him. You know, even Wendy Williams spoke about um, Lil Wayne ODing before on the scissor, you know, the Cough medicine with the Jolly Ranch and the 7-Up on. However you make that shit with the codeine, you know. They say you drink that shit, you get drunk shit. I don't know. Maybe I need to drink something to relax my motherfucking nerves. But Lil Wayne says it's on and popping. He will be in Kansas City Saturday, and he's doing fine. Thank you for all your prayers. 
And overnight, you know, an alligator, you know, uh, some parents or people was at Disney World in Orlando, you know, it's enough to shooting that's going on. But some people were at Disney World in Orlando and um, an alligator creeped up on the motherfucking land. I don't know what the details. I don't know if they were sitting around waiting for a parade, waiting for a movie to be seen. I've seen so many different, you know, um, things that they were doing or waiting on or whatever, but the motherfucking alligator, that motherfucker creeped up on the land, grabbed the baby, snatched that baby. The daddy and the parents, the daddy fought with that motherfucking alligator. He tried to get his baby back, y'all. Like we said with the gorilla, we would have jumped our asses down in there. Me and Harambe, Haramba, Haram, whoever motherfucking body, we would have been fighting. So the daddy was trying to get his baby back from the alligator. And as of now, 15 hours later, the body of the uh, two-year-old has not been recovered, and they have cut open several alligators trying to see if they could find the baby's body. But they don't think that the baby is going to be found alive. Our prayers go out to that family. And all you stupid motherfuckers who want to come up under here talking about they should have been watching their motherfucking kids. Because I had one motherfucker told me they should have killed the kid and not a uh, gorilla. And it just pissed me the fuck off. And I shut my motherfucking ass up. And I continued to do what I was supposed to do. And I left that shit alone. Because you know what? If y'all want to speak your peace, get up on your own motherfucking shit. Get to your own channel. And tell me your motherfucking opinion. You ain't got to go back and forth. And I'm not going to go back and forth on your channel. You know, I respect your opinion, but as a uh, thick chick blog said, you know, it's easy for something to happen to these motherfucking kids. You can turn your head quick, fast and in a hurry. And this baby was just, you know, standing around on land. OK, there's signs posted. No swimming. Beware the motherfucking alligators. Well, hell, when I'm on a family trip and I was with my kids every motherfucking summer at Disneyland, Disney World, and when I've been with my motherfucking grandkids, if we had a place like that, you think you're safe, you know. So my prayers go out to the family and everybody keep your motherfucking stupid ass opinion to your goddamn self, which I know you won't. But who gives a fuck? I'm into block parties. If you don't agree with some of the things respectfully that I say, because I don't mind a discussion. Welcome to my block party. I'm not finna be a part of no bullshit, and I'm not finna entertain no bullshit. Welcome to my motherfucking block party, okay? That's all I'm doing from now on. I'm not gonna entertain no motherfucking drama. Block party. That's all we gonna have over here on Miss Tiki 44 channel. And uh, with the shooting over there in Orlando, you know, uh, they were saying that the guy that shot and killed all those people, prayers out to the victims and their families, that this motherfucker was hanging out on uh, the gay apps and sites. And he was at, he went into the gay club and shot those people, you know, and uh, come to find out the wife. I don't know. Y'all, y'all, let's just pray. The wife dropped him off. Or she, she tried to stop him. The ex-wife, ex-wife. She said she had got away from the situation. It's just some sick motherfucking people in the world. And I can't stand when a motherfucker want to tell a story. And that gay people got shot. That gay club. Some people got killed in a club. Why we can't just all love every motherfucking body? I don't give a fuck whether you gay or straight. I love all people. I don't give a fuck who you are or what you are. Let's love on all people. You know, that's one thing I, I um, agree with some people. Uh, increase the peace. Let's not keep bullshit going, you know. But it is what it is. Y'all, I guess Kevin Hart was out shooting his movie at, at the uh, bridal shower, and somebody broke into his home, and they took $500,000 worth of shit. They was caught on camera going through the back door and leaving with all his motherfucking valuables because they knew they were out of town. Inside job somebody knew where he was at and what he was doing and you know what we on social media sometimes we may not be bragging but some people watching every motherfucking thing you doing you know you come up in here you're gonna get disappointed i ain't got shit for y'all asses but a bunch of motherfucking promises okay <laughs> but um i guess they robbed kevin hart took his motherfucking money he pissed the fuck off and real sweet, short, and simple, these Kardashians. I guess these hoes is being sued. Because in uh, 2009, the uh, Performing Arts 
agency took on a bid with these bitches and said that I would help you promote hair products, clothing, shoes, wear, whatever, whatnot. And they helped make these bitches millionaires, okay? Everybody was in agreement except for Rob. In March 2015, the uh, Kardashians and the Jenners cut the motherfucking company uh, loose, you know? They done got bigger than their motherfucking brands. Now, uh, Mama Jenner want all the motherfucking money, you know? And kudos to that hoe, because that bitch is about her motherfucking money. Mama Jenner and motherfucking Mona Scott, them two hoes need to team up, link up, okay? Anyway, they suing their asses and they say they owe them a lot of motherfucking money, okay? But uh, Black China and Rob, while we talking about these motherfuckers, not only did they get a deal um, to show the baby, you know, they got the million dollars to show, you know, six uh, hour series or whatever. They got a motherfucking reality show on the E! Network for having of the baby, but and the first picture got a million dollars. And also, they also just signed a reality show. I don't know how long it may be on the fucking wedding. Like I said, and Mama Jenner, this motherfucking Chris, she is helping Black China and Rob to nothing but success. I take my motherfucking hair off to you. Kudos to Mama Jenner. And uh, they say Black China is not accepting any money from her in-laws or no help from them sisters. She says she's doing this all by her motherfucking self for her and Rob. And you know what? Something I seen about Black China. And like I said, bitch, ride it till the wheels fall off. I, I, I respect you on your come up and how you doing your shit. And it looked like she really in love with Rob, you know. And if she ain't, that ain't nobody business but her own. But, uh, y'all, I think that's basically all that's been going on. Kiki Palmer, I guess, you know, <laughs> she took another picture and Black Twitter went in on her ass saying she looked like a crackhead again. And uh, she got a tattoo did saying the queen of Kush, to my knowledge, I think Kush is weed, y'all. And <laughs> y'all don't kill me if I don't know what Kush is. But I, I think Kush is weed, queen of Kush. But uh, they saying she going to regret that tattoo. She had a fucked up ass hairstyle again. Somebody say she looked like a crackhead. But Kiki Palmer said, why you bitches is bashing her? She had a song she needed to promote. So she started promoting that motherfucker while she was trending the other night. Good job, Kiki Palmer. You know, she's a young girl. And um, I wish her nothing but success in life. And one more thing I seen while I'm on this dirt alert. Ellen DeGeneres and her motherfucking ass was being shady one day. And this young lady that lives in Georgia, her name T.T. some motherfucking body. T.T. Um, whomever. She posted something. She was, uh, sh I didn't write, T.T. Pierce is her name. And uh, I guess she, uh, I don't know if she's a realtor, real estate. She was selling some Coldwell Bank, whatever she do in Georgia. Miss Ellen DeGeneres in you know, Fawn thought it was funny to say, who would, you know, promote some and sell some with a name Titty? And her name is TT. Well, the young lady felt like Ellen DeGeneres, you know, defamed her. She went and filed a lawsuit over there in Georgia. And she going to sue her ass because she say with Ellen DeGeneres making fun of her name, it has fucked up her motherfucking brand. All right. You know what? <laughs> This is a Sioux country motherfucking world. All this shit is allegedly, you guys, I'm over here on the shade room, boss up, ball alert, B. Scott. I'm just all over on these social medias getting all my information. You sue me, you're going to get mad. <laughs> and they say a warrant has been issued also for Tierra Marie on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. I guess when she was uh, taping last season, she got into it with an Uber driver, jumped out. And uh, she was cited. Well, she didn't show up in court. And uh, I know firsthand, if you don't show up and I had a lawyer and that motherfucker didn't appear, they told me they taken, had taken care of the warrant and they didn't. When I was pulled over, I had a motherfucking warrant out for my arrest. Well, they've issued a warrant out for Tierra Marie and uh, baby, get it taken care of. Call your lawyer, have them go walk in, pay that bench warrant that hundred dollars whatever the fuck you need to pay get that shit clear bitch because i'm gonna tell you when you least expect it that's when them motherfuckers will appear and the way they pulled me over goddamn it all the goddamn time for my tent i try not to do nothing motherfucking wrong but i'm gonna write that you know but uh you guys 
if you're bored, you ain't got nothing else better to do. You guys go over there to um, Thrifty Ninja Boutique, you know. Go do a little shopping. And um, let me see. Her uh, name is Thrifty Ninja Boutique at myshopify.com. You guys go over there. She got labels, name brand. I'm going to be uh, promoting some items of hers. And we're going to be working together. You guys go over there and check out her site, Thirsty Ninja Boutique. She's on my Facebook, um, my Instagram, and also Twitter, you guys. Y'all holler at my girl, Thrifty Ninja Boutique. If you like to pop them labels, go pop them motherfucking tags and shop. You guys, y'all have a lucky motherfucking day. And uh, it is what it is in life. And if I get some more dirt, I'll come in with another dirt alert. And uh, happy birthday to my mother. You guys, have a lucky day.